I saw this on Vice and I thought it looked interesting. The psychic capital of the world. Now, obviously, psychics aren't real, so I'm wondering what this could possibly be. Let's take a look. I'm standing at the intersection of Spiritualist Street and Mediumship Way because I'm in a psychic town. This place is the psychic capital of the world. Casadega, right Florida. Florida. Of course, this is in Florida, dude. Oh my God. Where else would the psychic capital of the world be but Florida? Holy shit. That is the least surprising thing I've ever heard. It's probably going to be the least surprising thing in this entire video. And I got an orb right up here already. Take pictures, guys. <laughs> That is a speck of dust. <laughs> I've got an orb right up here. We're on a spirit orb tour. We're walking around taking flash photos of different buildings and different. Yeah, dude, if you're taking flash photos, there's going to be like little reflections that are going to create little orbs. Are you kidding me? All right. What about that one up on the top there? You think that's off yep, the moon? I do. Okay. It's a light refraction off the moon. Sorry. OK. No, no go. So they do discount some of these spirit orbs, but others are clear and obvious, unquestionable spirit orbs, right? I grew up here, so not in Casadega, but in Florida. So you always hear like from people. So, so, you know, I've been around fucking crazy people my entire life. After reviewing the images that Dawn took, I guess I was just covered in white orbs, which means that potential. Dude, like even like a cursory knowledge of cameras like you can take these spirit orb photos in your front yard right now like how has not one person there that not one photographer has ever been there and explained like how cameras work to this person so i'm linking up with Lori and sydney carter they're two mediums in town who hold a weekly messaging service where they claim they can communicate with your dead loved ones. I don't know if someone's having a birthday around Christmas or someone passed at Christmas. Thank you. My birthday. It's pretty impressive. Watch. Okay. Ghosts are real. Spirits are real. No, I mean... what? Okay, what are some reasonable explanations here? Like, maybe you have to sign up to get into this group you get your you give them your name phone number email and they can look stuff up about you like your birthday like this person's birthday a google search boom then you can say something related to christmas and then oh my god blah 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 blah, blah. spirits are real like come on dude he brings you sunflowers which is the oh my god <laughs> for spiritualism and he is also bringing sunflowers to yeah, so, okay, she Googled that person. That's like a 70-year-old woman. Her Facebook is public. She found her husband, a photo from three years ago when the husband was still alive, and it's like them holding a, a recently purchased bouquet of sunflowers. Boom, done, easy, okay? Darting back and forth. Okay, and so stop, show me no. Show me no. Mine's going back and forth. It's going. She's moving her hand. She just started moving her hand. Mine's going back and stop. Show me no. Show me no. Mine's going back. And you can clearly see her move her hand back and forth. Like, it's caught on camera. The camera's right there. You can't fake it. The camera's four feet away from you. Jesus Christ. So after the messaging service, Sydney invites me back to her place to give me a one-on-one -on -one reading. Tell me a few things about myself or some things that you are tuned into. That Again, like she, he's asking, tell me some things about myself, but like they schedule this in advance. She's probably had weeks to Google search this guy. What's fun is you've had a gentleman in spirit who's been around you all day since you got here. And who is this gentleman? 
I'd probably put him in um, 60s age range. He definitely would have passed from something going on with his chest. I do feel like it's more heart. And I do know he would have had some issues with his digestive system as well, all the way from top to bottom. I know he has blue eyes and I'd say he's, I wanna put him over six foot. He feels quite tall to me. And it's interesting because I know he would have been in the military. I do feel like he is in a family line. So what I wanna <laughs> Digestive issues in America, you don't say. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, sweetie, you okay? Yeah, I'm good, Mom. I'm in the middle of a reading. Do you want to tell her what? Yeah, who I this can. man is? So yeah, I I'm gonna predict right now. She Googled this vice reporter who's a relatively public figure, um, and she found out who his grandpa was. She said he was in the military. So like, she looked up his last name, found out his grandpa who was in the military, um, and like looked up stuff about him like looked up his obituary and found out he died of like colon cancer or something like like throat cancer mixed with colon cancer like she found his obituary he was in the military it's going to be like his grandpa her dad or whatever like these people are professional googlers yeah i do feel like this is somebody who would be in the family huh that's interesting my dad was in the military boom he gave me 65 my dad was 66 exactly when he died Tell me something you can't find on Google and I'll be maybe impressed. But like, okay, you found a soldier's obituary from a the grandpa of a public figure. That is not impressive. It can take up to six years to become a certified medium with the Casadega Spiritualist Camp. And it's not cheap either. With classes normally, $50 a pop. Lucky for me, they're letting me audit one today in the temple, so I guess we'll see how good my psychic skills are. That was incredible. Definitely a man. Okay, now I want you to bring him close. Ask him to come closer to you, because we're gonna try to feel. All right, Taco, if you're still here, I'm gonna I'm gonna do you. Okay, I'm feeling a man. He's got a beard. Um. Does that describe anyone in your family? I'm not very good at this. I would not be. I would not make a good medium. He's a hard ass. I just described you. <gasps> oh shit! Maybe I've got the gift. I just described myself. <laughs> but maybe I got the gift. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, he said like eight or ten things, and he got two of them right. This is evidence of ghosts and spirits. Not to me. My life was just hardship after hardship after hardship until I finally accepted, okay, I have to go back to Florida. I moved <laughs> back here and it was almost like spirit. Oh no. When you're facing enough hardships in your life that you have to go, I need to go back to Florida. I mean, you gotta be facing some real hardships there. But personally, I needed to see some physical evidence. Let's go, Amen. physical evidence. So I begged Lori to let me sit in on one of the camp's most sacred rituals, a table tipping. At first I was refused, but after a lot of simping, they finally agreed to let us film. I'm standing here in front of the Slater house. In just a second, we're gonna go in for a table tipping. Oh, let's go. I guess it's a version of a seance where we just put our hands on the table and if there's spirits there, they move the table. Obviously, it seems super spooky. When we came to Casadega, we didn't know if we were gonna get this. The physical stuff is heavily yes. guarded by the camp and I'm assuming it's I, also I wonder why. Why would the physical stuff, i.e. the things that you <laughs> have a smidgen of like evidence to them be so heavily guarded by this camp? My prediction, nothing happens, and they just go, eh, you know, sometimes something happens, sometimes nothing happens, eh, come back next time, maybe we'll see. When we do table tipping, you normally put your palms and your fingertips do this with me. Do this with me as lightly as you can. To raise the vibration, we normally sing a couple songs. I don't know if you know any songs. Usually. Well, we all know Jingle Bells, right? <laughs> They're sitting around a table singing so jingle so bells. Show us a yes. I but actually I feel felt like it was getting ready to tip. I kind yeah. of feel it. Yeah. Don't you? So. Like yeah, you feel it because there's two people right there moving their hands as you speak. 
That guy is moving his hands. He's doing this. Like, maybe your eyes are closed and you don't see the man literally doing this? I also feel the humming, but I can't put my finger on where it's coming from. The wheels on the bus go round and round. The guy moving his hands! At this point, it doesn't seem like any spirits are going to move this table. So we pivot to another exercise called Transfiguration. So, I am, I have powers. I predicted the table would not move, and it didn't move. My final prediction came true. All of this stuff that they've described in this video can be explained through reasonable means. Like, period. The way it works is, if there's a spirit in the room, they'll secrete a blue mist called ectoplasm in front of the medium. So that way we can see a projection of who that spirit is what? on their face. So what we're looking So they're gonna have a spirit, like, drop a load on someone's face? I'd like to see that. They're waiting for a spirit to, it like, changes dump to his load lips. on her face. Changes it almost looks like a male spirit. It's like yeah, it's going to be a male spirit. Mustache. It's going to be a male I'm spirit. So the table didn't tip. It didn't really even move at all. There was just a little bit of a shaky table, which I actually think I can attribute to Reverend Phil because I snuck a few peeks and his hands were <laughs> pulsing the table. Transfiguration. Okay, I'm going to try it. <clears throat> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the... Whoa. Is this is this picking up on camera? I'm not doing anything right now. I'm not doing anything. I I say like do every single one of those things on camera all the time and like win your Nobel prize. Like prove the afterlife exists and you will be the most famous that that's like that'll be the most famous discovery in the history of our species. Like period. If you can prove ghosts exist or like an afterlife exists, anything like that, that would be bigger than any other discovery in the history of all science, all discovery, period. 